Hi there, I'm Susan Berkeley. This is the Inside Voice of our video training blog. And this week, I've got five tips for you for doing voiceovers while you travel. So listen up. Tip number one is to have a checklist. Don't depend on your memory. Now, these are the kinds of things that should go on your checklist. Your microphone. A folding microphone stand. You can buy one on Amazon for cheap, under $20, and they work great. The next one is an interface. If you're not using a USB microphone, the interface is the box that goes between your mic and your computer. Of course, your laptop. Headphones that are not noise canceling. So these are a different set of headphones than the ones you might use on the plane to reduce the noise. They look something like this. These are professional quality studio headphones from Sony. They're the MDR 7506. They're not expensive, but they're great professional headphones. You want to bring those. Bring a pop screen and make sure you have a cloud of account to save your work outside of your computer or if not an external hard drive for backups will also work. The second thing you want to do before you go is test your gear. Make sure everything is working properly. Send yourself a sound file. Listen to it. Make sure it's everything is great because you don't want to be hassling with that when you're on your trip. Number three is to call the hotel or go on their website and make sure there's Wi-Fi. Now, I know almost every place has it these days, but you'd be surprised. In some hotels, it's not in the room. It's in the lobby. You want to make sure there is great Wi-Fi in your room and even better if it's free. And also, make sure your room is quiet so when you call the hotel, make sure you book a room away from the elevator, away from the swimming pool, on a high floor if possible. Just tell them you want the most quiet room. Number four is to have a TSA-friendly carrying case. I can't tell you all the times that my carry-on luggage was torn apart by the TSA because they were looking for those cords, that microphone that was deep inside. So what I like to do is I have all my travel gear in a little carry case. Actually, it's about this big. And I just stick that in my carry-on and I can easily take that out and have it screened for TSA. It really saves time. And then the final is what I call my luggage rack porta booth. So you don't need to bring, if you use one of those foam chaotica eyeballs, I don't even think you need to bring that when you travel. What I will often do is I'll take a, a hotel luggage rack, stick it on the desk, cover it with a blanket, put a towel underneath it, some pillows inside it, stick my microphone in front of that, and I have an instant portable recording booth. So I hope that's helpful for you. Have a great trip. I'm Susan Berkeley. I'll be back next week with more Inside VoiceOver.